next question is from a brother who said that when he he says that he feels like he has a, like a split personality that he is two different people when i am in sunnah and when i'm not in sunnah why is it that i act differently when i'm wearing the sunnah and when i'm not wearing the sunnah i feel like a totally different person as if i have two personalities so please uh, kindly advise on this yes this is because um, the environment uh, has an effect on the person the atmosphere and especially each sunnah there's a light in each sunnah which actually which is a energy of light in each sunnah which actually then have an effect on you and obviously he says though you have a part of rasulullah's light with you you will feel differently and when you don't have that you have something opposite uh, you will actually feel opposite uh, to it so that is why we say we following sunnah is a source of barakah and if you wear such clothing which is of the sinners and actually wrongdoers and druggies obviously that will have effect one question which has come um, uh, from from the comments from one of uh, brothers who is a hindu um, or um, there's a sister or, or brother i do not know they mentioned that i'm hindu but i believe god is only one so in hindu religion uh, as the quran has mentioned uh, that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wali kulli qawmin had that uh, that fit to every nation there have come uh, a guide and in many books of history it's mentioned even sayyidina adam al islam was from this continent when he was he descended down from the heavens and when every nation had allah to according to quran uh, prophets so in here in this part of the area also came so that's why all hindu believe there's one main god so that is the the true god uh, and all others really are they have made it from from manifestation like they are the sifat of allah the attributes of the god for example he's all knowing he's the avenger he is the forgiver he is, gives risk, he gives awlad. After that, somehow people have made each quality, each attribute of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of the God, into a manifest, separate entity of God, or then the, in, in manifestation of statues, etc. Although this was forbidden in Hindu uh, uh, scriptures itself. So, alhamdulillah, this is a uh, great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you believe in the one God and true God only and, and there is one uh, uh, Ilah actually. Second thing now is actually that me, you, they, we don't have access to that God, that how we can actually uh, communicate with him, talk with him and get guidance from him. So, so that God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose uh, different personalities through from Adam al Islam then maybe in, in, in Indian subcontinent many people came with uh, Ambiya uh, in Arab and last of them actually is uh, Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah Muhammad bin Abdullah وسلم, the, the Arabic uh, the Arabian prophet and before Abraham Moses Jesus and all others actually came and as I said according to the Quran is likely in, in, in Indian subcontinent also many came so all of them gave one message that we are uh, the one God and we are the, his messengers and we will show you how to please how to fulfill the will uh, of that one God how to live according to his command so that you can live forever and ever in paradise in the next world with him forever so they were models how to please or how to uh, obey and how to worship that God they themselves were not God so alhamdulillah you have taken a great step actually believing in one God and that was the message of all the prophets and now actually to follow that one God how to worship how to live your life 
all of them gave one message from Adam to Prophet Ali Islam Islam and he وسلم, is the last of the prophets and uh, like in Hindu scripture is mentioned as well Kal Ki Otar which they say he is the last of them and final of them so you follow and believe in him and whatever he brought and Alhamdulillah you are on the path of guidance and uh, Iman as well so inshallah you may contact uh, yeah, our, our brother Zafar um, if you need any further information.